If you guys like the content, please subscribe. Um, we got a lot of builds coming up. So if you guys want to keep up with whatever builds, projects, or mobile mechanic work we're doing, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want notifications, and we'll roll into the video. Welcome back to Custom Auto Connection. So in today's video, uh, I actually had an entire video of a how-to step-by-step process on doing a fuel pump replacement on a 95 Cadillac DeVille. And it actually ran for like pretty much up to 1990 up till 1999 fuel pump replacement. I'm sure that the 2000s of these Cadillacs would have fell into that category. But it was just really good information of what like you know what the process is in changing a fuel pump that requires dropping the tank. Um, unfortunately, I lost all that footage. I went, I got into editing, did all that, and you know I'm still learning with this stuff. So I accidentally, you know, it got corrupt, and I accidentally didn't have a backup, so it was all gone to waste. But either way, the day didn't go as planned. Um, I got the, the fuel tank dropped I got it at an angle so I could access the uh, fuel pump but because this car was sitting for over a year uh, the the fuel inside the tank is starting to smell like uh, almost like a nail polish remover if you guys ever smelled bad gas or aged gas you guys know what I'm talking about it's like a almost like a paint thinner nail polish remover type of a smell so I'm gonna have to rip the tank out completely and then we'll go ahead and drain that and um, we'll just do the filter. We'll do the filter but rip the tank out and then uh, put clean fuel in. I was going to do an access door while I'm at it. That way I don't have to drop the tank ever again. But it's just the way the design is. And I'll show you guys once we get to the car. I'll pull you guys over to the car so I can show you what I'm talking about. But just the way the pump is designed, an access door is not going to do us really any good. We need a bunch of space in order to get this pump out anyways. So we'll run to the car and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But you know, it is what it is. It's a learning process. And you know, I mean, there's no shortcuts here. So you know, we just gotta roll with the punches. So I'll meet you guys in the car and uh, I'll explain to you how far we got. All right, it's kind of a tight space uh, down here, but I'll do my best to explain. Uh, as you guys can tell, I got the tank dropped down to an angle. It was enough to get the pump out. Um, we had this access door we got a hold of that we were going to go ahead and uh, mock up up here. We got, went ahead and measured out where we needed to cut. I'm glad we didn't get as far as cutting before uh, I removed the pump. And one of the reasons is, this is actually the old pump. As you can tell, the plastic that's supposed to, this little hose that's supposed to be up here, is actually really brittle like that just actually cracked that's supposed to be connected in all one piece um it smells like nail polish remover but the reason why i'm happy that i didn't get into cutting the access door up top i'll go ahead and show you guys how far we got it we actually got it all marked up and it was ready to cut uh but the reason why is because the type of pump that this is it's ran off of a spring it's ran off of a spring so as soon as uh, all the tension's released it will lift lift off so what that means is once the lock is on and another reason is the fuel lines in order to take the lock off you got to raise it up here so that's that all equals space that's needed in order to take this off but as soon as you're loosening up this lock say you're loosening it it just goes up higher and higher and this door would have to be as far out as these lines and not only that it would have to be exceed that so it'd have to be pretty good probably i would i would want to say probably 11 inches of a cut in order for us to have a good access door up top i don't want to cut that big of a, a big hole in the you know especially where people are sitting so i actually am gonna opt not to do that but you know i just thought i'd uh, show you guys what how far i got on that before we uh, proceed and ripping the rest of this tank out of here so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that we'll flip the camera all right so this is actually what we got going on with the tank um what i went ahead and did was i had a marker i just had a sharpie with the pump still on the tank uh, i just held it straight and then i jacked up the uh tank all the way up 
and then I got these markings. I got these ugly scribes right here, but pretty much I guessed which one was the middle marking because it doesn't need to be perfect. You just need enough uh, to access the pump from up top. And I guessed that uh, one of these lines up here, let me get this to focus, there we go. I guess one of these lines in the middle here were uh, the middle. Once I figured out which was the middle, I went ahead and went back to the pump, measured out the middle to the end, and each each way, up, down, side by side. And then once I did that, I did a dot, I did a dot, and then an, I think I did a dot there. You know, just kind of marked it every now and there. Now and then um, for like, you know, kind of a perfect mark, but not too bad. And then once I had those markings of what we thought the middle was, we went ahead and threw our plate right over it. And once we threw our plate over where our markings kind of were, we went ahead and just traced. So I hope that makes sense. But this would, what we would have done is we would have cut a little below. We wouldn't have cut right on the line. We would have cut a little below the line. Um, that way we have a gasket. We could get a big O-ring and it'd be able to seal up right up against that. And we'd be able to mount this up top and, you know, just remove this and get to the tank. But like I showed our fuel pump, it's not going to be a good idea to use that because the type of pump that it is. I thought it was an old school type of pump where it was just the, the, the actual little pump in the sock. Um, if you guys know what I mean, if you guys work on older cars and you know, but this was a whole plastic housing. So this is not going to work with this, uh, especially because it's spring loaded and then the fuel lines kind of, we're just going to scratch that idea. But what we got to do now, and I was hoping that this was on E. All right. So what we're going to end up doing instead of all that, since we're scratching that idea is we got to get this out of here because this, uh, fuel in this tank is probably about a good seven gallons is bad it smells like nail polish remover and we're not going to be rolling with that we're not going to throw a new uh pump in here with that we're gonna have to drain this and it's perfect opportunity because i could actually spray the entire outside it's all just dirt that's why it looks like that color it should be like nice plastic black kind of like down below here so we'll get this all cleaned up we'll clean up the inside get any uh any rocks, dirt, any type of debris down in there, we'll just clean it out completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and prop the camera up and then we'll go ahead and either do a, a time lapse or we'll speed up the process on how long it takes me to pull this out. I'm guessing I just gotta pull out these braces and then the whole thing will come out. I'll just rip it towards me or something, but we'll see how it goes. I'll prop the camera up and uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and see how it goes. So we finally got it out. Um, it's just too bad that we weren't able to use the other footage, but you know, it is what it is. All right guys, so as you guys can tell, uh, things really didn't go to plan like I wanted them to. It got pretty late, so I had to call it a night. Um, at least we got the tank out and you know, we could actually spend another day, you know, when we can to get the tank cleaned up really good like we want to. And you know, we could kind of take a little more time on Things that we would kind of just rush, you know, like putting the fuel lines in, make sure everything is ran correctly. It just kind of goes to show, you know, this type of work, not all the time everything will go to plan. Like, you know, I got a good example right here in my hand. Um, I was doing a mobile mechanic job and I wanted to get one of these guys on order because I couldn't find one anywhere. And 
you know, I thought we got lucky and we finally got it on order. They were going to come in. And what we ended up getting was this guy right here. So as you can tell, you know, it's the same description, same type of a fitting. The only difference is, is the size. When I called this one in, I gave them the size of the uh, bolt head. But, you know, things happen, things get missed. And it's kind of something, you know, I wanted to show this as, as an example. That, you know, I'm kind of used to things not working out. And you just got to have thick skin and not get frustrated. And, you know, throw your tools and, you know, call it done. You know, you just got to roll with the punches. It is what it is. And then if anything, an extra day on this particular job is going to do us good. And, you know, it's the stupidest little things like that that will get you. So on this one, this one was a transmission line connector. That's the little guy that I just showed you. And then the one that I needed was a tr transmission cooler fitting. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. One of those things, and I'll get my, I think that was like 12 bucks. Get my 12 bucks back for that. And then on this guy, I get another day to make it clean and make it like I want. There's no real rush to this build. Like I said, I anticipate on, you know, freezing during the winter, getting this one done anyways. I don't plan on driving this car until spring before we move on to our other builds we got going on. So, you know, it is what it is. Kind of a waste of a video, I know. I know uh, the other one was more filled, packed with info, but you know, I didn't want this one to go to waste. I wanted to show you guys kind of what happened, why things didn't work out. You know, it is what it is. We'll learn how to handle it better next time. You know, there's always next time. So I'll leave you guys with that one. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.